students in the today's session we'll talk about general anesthetics in brief and we'll talk about uh, we'll discuss the stages of uh, general anesthesia now all general anesthetics are seen as depressants general anesthetics are the drugs that induce reversible loss of all sensations and they produce unconsciousness general anesthetics uh, uh, produce analgesia and amnesia amnesia is the loss of memory now these drug induce relaxation of skeletal muscles which uh, causes immobility and apart from that uh, general anesthetics also uh, produce loss of all somatic and autonomic reflexes so these are the cardinal features of general anesthetics now no single drug possesses all these uh, characteristic features and therefore the general anesthetic plan typically involves a uh, use of a combination of drugs and primarily combination of uh, fast acting intravenous drugs and uh, inhalational drugs and that is inhalational general anesthetics and intravenous general anesthetics now I refer to this diagram and there is a strong association between the action of uh, general anesthetic and the specific sites of central nervous system now this is the diagram that shows sites of general anesthetic action now enhancement of gabbergic transmission in amygdala and hippocampus is produces amnesia now gaba is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that is the gamma amino butyric acid and enhancement of uh, gabbergic transmission in amygdala and hippocampus produces amnesia now analgesia is produced by the inhibition of transmission of pain impulse from peripheral tissues to the spinal cord and then inhibition of uh, transfer of pain impulse from the spinal cord to the thalamus and from the thalamus to the brain that is the cortex so inhibition of uh, transmission of pain impulse in the spinothalamic tract is responsible for the induction of analgesia now immobility is caused by the enhancement of uh, gabbergic transmission uh, in the uh, spinal cord uh then uh, unconsciousness is mediated by cortex thalamus and brain stem and this un unconsciousness is produced by the potentiation of uh, gabbergic inhibition now these general anesthetics they are commonly used for major surgeries like uh, knee and hip replacement surgeries heart surgeries transplantations uh, etc now we will talk about the stages and the depth of general anesthesia now as we all uh, have already discussed all general anesthetics are seen as uh, depressants and uh, with the increase in the dose of general anesthesia and increase in the time of exposure the depth of central depression progressively increases and this increase in the depth of central central depression by the general anesthetics is described as the stages of anesthesia so first stage is the stage of analgesia uh, in the stage of analgesia perception of pain is uh, reduced and finally it is abolished so uh, perception of pain is progressively abolished amnesia that is a loss of memory amnesia and loss of consciousness develops uh, by the end of this stage so in the stage of analgesia there is a loss of pain sensation there is induction of amnesia and there is uh, induction of unconsciousness second stage is a stage of uh, delirium a delirium means a disturbed state of mind so patient is uh, del uh, delirious uh, the patient is excited Uh, the patient may shout struggle and hold his mouth muscle tone increases jaws are tightly closed breathing is jerky there can be induction of vomiting involuntary micturition or defecation can also occur heart rate and blood pressure may rise uh, pupil dilate due to sympathetic stimulation uh, however Uh, this stage is not clearly visible uh, with the use of modern anesthetics now third stage is a stage of uh, surgical anesthesia 
Now, as we've already seen by the end of stage one, there is an induction of unconsciousness and analgesia. So in the stage three, uh, that is a surgical anesthesia where the surgeries are actually performed, patient is, uh, is unconscious and has no pain reflexes. Respiration is regular and blood pressure is maintained. And this uh, stage of surgical anesthesia is divided into four planes. Plane one, initially the eyes are revolving and then the eyes they become fixed. Plane two is characterized by the loss of cornea and laryngeal reflexes. Plane three is characterized by the dilation of pupil and the loss of all light reflexes. Uh, plane four uh, shows shallow abdominal respiration. Now, as the anesthesia increases, uh, there is a, a progressive decrease in the muscle tone, blood pressure falls, heart rate increases, and the depth of the respiration decreases. Now, overdosage of uh, these general anesthetics uh, can result in the uh, stage 4, that is the medullary par paralysis. Now, overdose of general anesthetics produce uh, the stage now this stage occurs at the respiratory centers which are uh, respiratory center um, that is located in the medulla oblongata of the brain which is responsible for the control of breathing that cease to function and other uh, centers also uh, they cease or they stop functioning now this results in respiratory and cardiovascular depression and uh, uh, this requires uh, immediate pharmacological and mechanical support and if uh, imme immediate support is not provided then the death can occur and thus uh, we can say that uh, uh, balanced anesthesia is achieved by combining uh, inhaled and intravenous uh, general anesthetics and continuous monitoring of the patient is required uh, when the patient is under anesthesia. So this is all about the stages of uh, anesthesia. Uh, uh, thanks for watching the video.